Hello everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Random Adventures. I was going to film a haul video and I thought, well, let's just do it live. So, <laughs> um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. This is a dress that I made. It's a stretchy, really loose, really comfortable dress that I made for myself. And a denim jacket, I think it's Old Navy, and I got the denim jacket at uh, Goodwill. And then just leggings. It's like a semi. It's a semi um, warm, semi windy day. So this is just all I have on. It's nothing wintry at all. It's actually really like fall or spring. But anyway, let us get down to the hall. I'm so excited. When I came back to the apartment, this big old box was waiting for me. So let's put the box. Um, right here so that we can keep it in view and I'm going to open it last and let's get a pair of scissors right there just in case we need scissors okay so first place that I went today was Kroger and one of the first things that I saw at Kroger was this it was at clearance aisle so these are easy light char charcoal briquettes and um, all you need to do is just turn like you know use one of those lighters and they will start and guess the price I love the road is not easy but yes it is $4.39 for this huge bag of charcoal so I'm planning to either do roast chicken or maybe a roast head if I can get a hold of stuff uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this my cast iron skillet the brined meat whatever it is in my backpack and I'm gonna walk down to college and use one of the open campus grills that is what I'm going to do so stay tuned for that. It's going to be really fun here on this channel. I got two other things from Kroger's. Uh, two big bags to show you guys. Uh, two other things from Kroger's which were M&M's. They were 50 cents, 51 cents off. These are not for me. These are actually going to be a birthday gift and lifesavers gummies also a gift for someone else all right don't worry i'm not eating all this by myself when i want chocolate i get like aldi chocolate aldi milk chocolate from germany is actually less sweet than even like godiva and like other brands of milk chocolate here in the in the u.s like it is good i love it get the salted pretzel milk chocolate from aldi my favorite so far. I cannot have more than like one bar around at a time or I will eat too much of it. Okay, next place I went after Kroger's, not the candy, not the charcoal, I went to the Asian grocery. Ah, the Asian grocery. If there were no Asian grocery in this town, like, I would not be okay. So, Let's see. First of all, I got this. A big bag of jasmine rice. Five pounds, so actually not that big. I did not want to carry like 10, 20 pounds back with me. I would have to walk. So, five pounds it is for $6.99. Jasmine rice is my go-to. But I also got sushi rice. So this is two, uh, two point two pounds. It's one sixty nine per pound. So it's three seventy two. I don't know why I just like rambled on all this math unnecessarily. It's cow roast rice or sushi rice. I think it's cow. It's short grained, and I'm going to be making sushi rolls with it. Easy sushi roll got um something else very necessary for sushi rolls which are 
These are $2.99 seaweed. And so sometimes if I just make an omelet and put sushi rice with you know, the vinegar and everything and the sushi seaweed and I wrap it up like a burrito, I'm happy. It tastes great. It's a cold meal. I can keep it in the fridge. I can take it to college with me. It's fun. It's easy. Um, of course, I would season it like a little bit like sriracha or um, mayo is what I use. Probably a little more authentic than sriracha. But there you go. Sushi rice and seaweed. And this is fun. Instant noodles. So I want to try different kinds of noodles. And to me, like paying two bucks a pop for one portion of instant noodles is still cheaper than going down to the Asian restaurant and paying like $12, $14 plus tax, plus tips. Like if I want to have an easy meal of Chinese noodles, I can just buy different flavors to try. This one I have not tried. It's a sweet potato spicy noodle. Actually, I don't think it's Chinese. It is Oh yeah, it is. It's from Sichuan. That makes it even better. It's... So, stay tuned. I will try these. Um, something else that I have tried and that I really, really like are these. And I did not... Sorry. Probably very no noisy ruffling going on. I did not get just one of these. I grabbed whatever they had left. Sorry for the noise. It must be unless you really like ASMR, that level of crackling is probably not. I got three of these. I reached up on the uh, shelf and they were right in the back and I I could barely grab them with the fingertips. Like I am very short and uh, these. So they're entirely in Chinese. I use Google Translate. These are steamed cold noodles. So good. They are spicy and sour and tangy. Nothing like what we have back home, but it does give me like a fun spicy noodle option. Which I don't really have here because I can't just go out and eat spicy noodles in the shop. It's too expensive for a student. About $2.99 each. Are they cheap? No, but they're really good and they are really special. <laughs> Finally, from the Asian grocery, this is something that I have not yet got while here in spring roll, Vietnamese spring roll wrappers. Uh, these are so easy to, to, to make a nice meal with, you know, you get your vegetables. I'm trying to get myself to eat healthier. So this is just like rice wrappers, you wrap with vegetables, maybe a little bit of chicken, maybe sriracha, this fun stuff. I should have got sriracha. It was on sale, I did not get it. It was $4.99, so I was like, mm. But this will be fun. Okay. Next, finally, I went to the Dollar Tree. And picked up two things because I'm starting to realize I need stationery, kind of like a crafting supply. The reason why this is a crafting supply is because I'm going to paint it. It's going to be so fun. Like this has a nice surface on which to do acrylic painting, and I'm always looking out for fun surfaces to do acrylic painting on. So this is. Yeah, imagine like you can have a whole binder in whatever design you like and I love like fun floral designs etc etc and then this and honestly I don't know how well this is gonna work this is like this 10 bucks for a nice punch one at the stationery shop 5 bucks for something like this but a little sturdier so I thought I'm going to try the $125 tree hole punch and if it works, I would have saved myself like nine, five to nine bucks or four to nine bucks. So let's test it out later. But ah, now before we move on to the big parcel behind me, one last thing. These are uh, things that I brought in from the kitchen to keep in my room. This is a salt container and this is a cocoa 
hot cocoa mix container. And the reason why I brought them in is because these are crafting supplies. I am going to do something with them. Maybe make a miniature cake. Maybe paint them. Maybe make some decor. I don't know. I'm going to make crafts out of them. This is how my grandma taught me to do crafts, which is to uh, <laughs> take random things with potential and make new things out of them. Plus, this has a nice lid and I might actually just use it to store stuff. Okay, now the big parcel. Now the moment I have been waiting for. It is a very long box. Just to show you the length of this box, it is three feet long. I hope I hope it is what I want it to be. I hope like they did not Amazon this is an Amazon Basics product and Amazon did not give like a ton of detail. Um and I would have liked to have known, like, specifically the specific sizes of the screws and stuff, but... Okay, I'm worried. One, two, and... Okay, this is actually really nice. It's... Oh, man. It's not... Okay. This... This is an Amazon Basics mic stand, a boom stand to be specific. And I got it so that I can film painting videos from the top. I'm just gonna show you what this does. is a part of my crafting haul. I'm gonna tell you why. It's because I've been wanting to make more vlogs about art and learning art and doing fun stuff around here and I have not been able to because the angle of my current tripod is wrong. And so this thing is hopefully going to solve that problem. It wasn't too expensive too. It was like on sale and I really needed it. Alright, so this is what it does. You can attach um, something to the end of it. You attach an adapter to the end of it, and now you can film downwards, which means I can put this over my desk. Apparently this goes up to 8 feet. I don't know if it really goes up to 8 feet. If it really well, it goes up pretty high, and then I can film on the top down. So, that's my haul for today. I'm really excited to start filming, painting, and crafting videos, and having more, like, you know, chatty vlogs and videos up on this channel. See you guys soon. Bye! How do I stop live streaming? Oh!